what's up guys welcome back to another video i haven't seen you guys in so long not that i see you anyway but like i mean i haven't like recorded in a while so it feels weird and like i'm happy to be back so anyway welcome to why people can change not can't can why people can change this is the second video out of my self growth series and like i mentioned before the videos i'm doing is like step by step of things that i feel like you need to know or you need to understand in order to do or to um transform yourself or to be your higher self also like get your shit together you know like to be living your best life like this is what i think these are some of the lessons that like i've personally learned through my self growth journey so yeah let's get into it but before we do you already know you already know you already know subscribe to the channel go and like the video and share this video with all your friends and family and let me tell you why because we need to normalize uh, self growth we need to normalize change we need to normalize people looking to live their best life and not hide the process because realistically it's all about the process let's get straight into the video so why people can change or this is kind of like my opinion on why people can change this is my perspective you know so a lot of people love to say that people can't change like i've literally heard people can't change my whole life i've heard like a leopard never changes its spots. Once a cheater, always a cheater. Once a liar, always a liar. Now, I believe if you believe these things, then they are true. So if that's how you live your life, then it will be the way you live your life because that's what you believe. And it's our beliefs that, um, that influence our actions and our decisions. Um, I however disagree I think people can change I just think that it's extremely hard to do so and I've changed a few things about myself and it's um it's almost impossible it feels like you know like um, it's very very hard it takes a lot of work like you know how people like grind and hustle like it's a personal grind and a personal hustle i'm telling you i'm telling you okay so i'm gonna be talking about different perspectives of change for example everyone has trauma everyone has two types of trauma i know this is four but i mean two you have one type of trauma which is the trauma that is passed down from your ancestors and it's like generations and generations and generations of trauma that is just passed down and no one fixes it okay and then you have the second type of trauma which is your own individual trauma which is the trauma that you experience and you gain yourself through your own experiences in this lifetime you're going through something, something happens, a situation happens and depending on your mindset, depending on your understanding of life, depending on your awareness at the time of the situation that is happening, depending on your fight or flight mode is whether you get the trauma or not. Your subconscious will store this trauma that you've created by yourself and you will use these traumas to react in similar situations if they come again. This is then adapted into a personality trait it's like commitment issues, anger issues, anxiety, a short temper. All of these things that are adapted into personality, personality traits are really just traumas that have not been resolved now imagine that same trauma which is really just a reaction that your subconscious thought was okay to, to survive a situation is then repeated through your whole life every time you come into that same situation 
every time you come into a similar situation to that you act the same you react in that same way now imagine you've been doing it okay you've been doing it this is what i'm saying change is not easy change is one of the hardest things you'll do change is almost impossible but it is almost impossible it's not impossible change is hard because these are programs that you've been playing your whole life how old are you right now i'm 24 yeah so i've been doing these same things for 24 years you know how hard it's going to be to stop or to change it's going to be very hard but nonetheless it is possible i don't even know what accent that was supposed to be it actually goes further to like it goes it gets programmed into your body in a way where for example yeah when someone is has commitment issues yeah they go into a relationship and let's say that this person they actually really liked them or they fell in love with them or whatever the situation was but this person was like different to the other people yeah and then it's like you know what i could really see myself like committing to this person and then it's like the one month goes past and then they are it's like their body yeah because it's not just your mind it's your body as well that is programmed so your body is like bro it's been one month like it's too long we can't look at the same person every day longer than one month what do you mean look at that girl look at that guy over there like they're new they're fresh me they're fresh everything like go look at them like your body actually asks for it because that's what you've been telling your body is okay telling your mind is okay so now you really like this person and you want to commit to them but your old self yeah which you're no longer that person but in our mind it doesn't seem that way your old self is like no i don't want to i don't want to see her face i don't want to commit i just want to be free and find someone else that is not being free being free is being able to like someone and stay committed to them because you want to <laughs> not because your old self says it's not okay to do so anyway so how can we change if it's so hard to do okay so one of the things is looking within okay because like i've said before the external is only a reflection of the internal and vice versa so for example looking within going through your memories realizing the traumas that you have created for yourself going through your subconscious mind making peace healing those memories those parts of yourself um, and the way that you do this is by accepting so a lot of people think that this means like oh i have to forgive that person and because i've forgiven them it's fine no it's not just about forgiving them because forgiving them means that they things weren't supposed to be like that but i forgive you no what we have to realize is that everything happens for a reason and even though we can't physically see it there is an order within the universe that makes sure that everything that you're supposed to go through will happen does that make sense that's why i don't believe in missed opportunities because if i didn't um accept or embrace that opportunity in this one the next opportunity will be the same it might come in a different outfit but it's the same toy you know it's about accepting what was what is and what will come it's about understanding some some of our memories let's be real they're not nice they're not good sometimes things have happened to us um something that weren't in our control maybe they were maybe they weren't we are not responsible for them happening to us maybe but we have the responsibility to change you know you can sit there and say i am this way because boom 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 we can all do that honey we can all do that let me let you know okay i'm i'm gonna let you know we can all do that so this is the difference between wanting to change or not because i can sit here and tell you and justify every single um negative aspect of myself by telling you a story or i could just take responsibility understand that everything happens the way it was supposed to happen and i had to go through those things to understand life in the perspective that i'm living it make peace with it 
change and be my best self. But you see, we get stuck because it's not easy to change. If you've been doing something for years and years and years and years, and this is if it's your own trauma, because if it's generational trauma, you've been doing that for centuries, for lifetimes, you know, it's gonna be really hard to change. Another way is by being aware of the things that you think about on a daily basis. Most of these things are about being aware and being an observer to who you are. Because we do a lot of things without being aware of the things that we're doing. What are the things that we think about the most? What are the things that um, we think? What are the things that we say? What are the thoughts before our actions? What are our actions that we do on a daily basis? Like these things will tell you who you are. So then for example, if I see, if you think things, if you think the same things every day, you're going to stay the same every day. So it's about understanding, um, being aware of the thoughts that you are thinking. What do you think about most of the day? And if you don't want it to be that, then you have to change it and start thinking of other things. Some people are like, oh, well, I can't control my thoughts. My thoughts just be chilling there. Like, no, I'm not telling you to physically control them. I'm telling you that instead of being here, experiencing, being the mind, go over here, just take a step back. And instead of being the mind, be a witness to the mind, be a witness to your body, be a witness to who you are. Instead of being you, be a witness to yourself. And then by doing that, you'll be able to realize why you are the way you are. And then you can just accept that, make peace with it, and then decide who do you want to be. And then when you decide who you want to be, then you can do the adjustments accordingly, if that makes any sense. Until the pain of being is higher than the pain of change, you won't change. Because, and what what that means is that, how bad do you really want to change? Because if you don't want to change, you're not going to. You The pain, yeah, of being this person has to be greater than the pain of change. You have to really hate <laughs> this part of yourself. And you see, like, we would say hate is bad, no? But when you use hate in the right way, because negative does not mean bad, when you are so unhappy with that part of yourself, you want to change it because you don't see no other way out or you don't see you reaching that future that you want without changing this. When that pain, when you're like at that lowest of the low, that's when the greatest transformations happen. Why? Because that pain was greater than the pain of change. Like, I don't know if you've ever like hit rock bottom, you know? You're literally like, I actually can't stand myself. Like, why do we do this so much? Why are we back in this situation again? Really go in for yourself. Really go in with yourself, okay? And then realize that, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna have this pain anyway, so I might as well change because that pain won't be any greater than the pain I'm experiencing right now, staying the same, you yeah? know? Anyway, I really hope you guys understood. It is hard to um, digest, but um, I hope that I worded it in a way where it's not too hard. And I know my examples are a bit crappy, um, but I feel like they're easy to understand, so. Anyway, if you liked the video, please go and like the video and um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And don't forget to share this video with all your friends and all your family so we can all grow together so that 2021 can be a year where we finally receive everything we've been working on, all that hidden work that no one sees that you've been doing but you've been doing it you're gonna receive it. How is that gonna happen? We have to be in unity. We have to elevate, we have to evolve, we have to transcend. We have to just like, why does my voice get like this? <laughs> anyway, forget that. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope you're enjoying the self-growth series. 
and if you are make sure to leave a comment down below um, so we can we can talk about our changes our evolution what we're going through at the moment anyway from my perspective to yours i'll see you guys in the next video